Hello, this is Paula. I'm bringing you a review tonight for Citrus Tango in a tart form by Yankee Candle. So this is just my review of that. You can see in my warmer here, I've got a little tea light. And here is the melted wax. Um, it, if it wasn't like a little bit of a red color there um, in the paint on the warmer, um, I think it would just still show up as like a clear color because it's a real faint light yellow when it's in its solid form. So let me re read a description of this fragrance um, as Yankee had it on their website when it was still on the website. It said, time to shake things up with this lively, playful melody of sunny orange, lemon zest, and grapefruit. So. I wish I could find the little wrapper. It seems I have misplaced it. Um, I might be able to find it before I have my empties review uh, coming up here before long. But um, basically, it's a really bright but yet pale yellow wax color. The label has, um, and I think, oranges, lemons, and grapefruits on it. And I'm always really drawn to the citrus scents, and I just love them so much. Um, and I'm really glad I let this melt a little longer before I reviewed it. My first thought upon melting it um, was that it smelled very artificial and almost like a punch flavor, uh, like a citrus punch. Maybe like an, a Sunny Delight, if you guys know what that is. Um, Sunny Delight, a uh, citrus punch, not quite like an orange juice, but when I was younger it was kind of a big deal. Maybe even Tang. Remember Tang? Um, and you could like mix it up and have like a citrusy drink. That's kind of what came to mind initially. Upon burning it a little bit longer, however, uh, it, it got more intense and it smelled initially my mind kind of like read it as perfumey but I knew that that wasn't right um, and I realized that what I was smelling a real strong sense of was I think the grapefruit so that was kind of cool and then um, like I remember bending down to smell it and it, I really kind of like trying to see if that was what I was getting um, and sure enough I think it is the grapefruit that was coming through so fragrances are such an interesting thing. They're very complex at times. Um, and these companies that work so hard to make a neat fragrance, it's sometimes um, so interesting to know what ends up going into them. Um, at the moment, I do not have the notes, the specific notes for the, uh, the base, mid, and top notes. I always find that interesting, and this would be one I would love to know that. But in the meantime, I'm enjoying it. Um, once I got past what I thought was just a super artificially smelling, almost like a cheap air freshener. I don't know where that came from, but you know how a scent will trigger something in your past and you're like, you, you can't quite place it though, but this takes me back to something, but that seemed kind of, um, I don't know, uh, imitation or cheapy uh, smelling. But then again, like I said, as it progressed and I let it burn a little longer, I could smell the more in-depth, distinct scents of lemon zest, orange, and grapefruit. And for me specifically, grapefruit, which is kind of cool. That's exciting. Um, unless you don't like grapefruit. I kind of am beginning to wonder if the citrus scents aren't kind of a hard thing to pull off in the first place with a candle. Um, so I don't know. Uh, I will say this, if you're going for a citrus scent that you can really smell, then this particular wax tart, I mean this form of the wax, so in a tart form by Yankee Candle, um, Citrus Tango is a good one to get if you want to smell it in your living space. If you, uh, because, uh, otherwise if you're just going for faint next to nothing smells, I guess you can get those kind of candles anywhere. There's plenty of those. But this one, I can really smell, so it scores a lot of points in that regard. So I'm excited I tried this. Um, you won't believe this either. Um, 
I mean, know you will or not, but <laughs> uh, looking at the receipt that I could barely read, this uh, tart was actually purchased back, I think it was June of 2014. And it's July. It's almost like the end of July of 2016. So go Yankee for like hanging on to the scent um, in a tart. I love it. That's why I love Yankee. That's why I was ever drawn to them. I hope that um, from here on out, I can always like ongoing kind of count on Yankee as a true blue uh, maker of candles that I could smell. I know I have so many once in, I mean, let me back up. Like once in a while, there's like a dud here and there, and that's disappointing. Um, but when I smell something strong, then that's exciting. So it could just be that tarts are going to be like that more than the candles. I sure, sure would love to see that more in the candles. So anyway, that is my review. Um, I'm enjoying it now. Initially, I thought, what am I smelling? Oh my goodness. Um, but it really kind of transformed into a, a really beautiful, intense fragrance. Um, and when I walked in the room, I definitely smell it like it's not like a subdued thing. Um, it is in a smaller room, and it is the whole tart. I am melting. I'm seeing, I've seen people like pick off little pieces or break them in half. And um, I just kind of like if, if my melter will hold a whole, a whole tart, I just throw it in there and uh, that way I can get a feel for it. So I enjoy this and I would feel confident burning it in a larger room because of the scent throw. So I hope that helps somebody if you're interested in picking one up, maybe when this comes back around or at the outlets or um, maybe at the discount stores. You never know when you're going to see these scents pop up. I saw a lot of cool scents pop up at the last second at this last in my annual sale. Um, it's almost like I don't know where people are hiding things out in back rooms, something somewhere, you know, or something like that. And I say that because of some things that associates have said in the past, but um, it's kind of fun to find uh, an old one that you don't see all the time. So Citrus Tango, it's a happy, fun scent. The candle looks really bright and cheerful, bright colors on the label, on the old label. I don't know what the new label will look like. So thank you for tuning in this evening. I hope you have a good one. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.